Hi, my name is Jason Hayes. I'm your executive director for operations and finance. I want to take you on a second video tour of construction um, here at Montview Church. We are now in the Miller Center. This was our second sanctuary, and we have been uh, updating the plaster and restoring um, our ceiling to its, its, its uh, historic glory. We've been refurbishing and restoring the stained glass windows all along the west side um, of the Miller Center. Uh, you'll see we have a new valance that's going along and above that are our uh, theater lights that we'll be using for our music and mask programs. Uh, and our music performances. We are completely rebuilding um, a rotating stage. Now we had a rotating stage before and now we have a brand new rotating stage. We've been restoring some of the organ pipes in this space as well. We'll be putting new carpet. We have refinished uh, all of the pews that will come back into this space. Um, and we've been restoring the chandeliers. So much is happening here in the Miller Center and it is so exciting. Um, we will be moving from the Miller Center um, to kind of what we might say the back of the Miller Center, which is called Montview Porch. So let's head over there and I'll, I'll share more about what's going on there. Here we're in what we're calling the Montview Porch. This is one of the old historic entrances to the Miller Center, which was one of our historic sanctuaries. What we've done here is we've added um, new glass and glass doors, and this will allow us to have um, traffic as we move from the Miller Center over into the Robinson Room and the Heritage Center, which we'll move next. This outdoor space is what we were calling the outdoor living room. This is a, a g outdoor gathering space for uh, receptions during and after concerts, during and after weddings. Uh, and this will, uh, will really enhance our um, presence on Montview Boulevard uh, and really update this space, which used to be dark um, and, and confusing for people, not sure where the entrance was. Um, so I'm really excited to see how this new glass has come in and how it's going to create more um, movement from the Miller Center over into the Heritage Center. And that's where we're going to head next. Now we're moving into the Robinson Room. The Robinson Room will now become a children's library. We have new uh, wood bookcases that have just been installed. We've updated the heating system. We'll have new furniture here. Of course, the symbolism of this space is really important with our beautiful stained glass window of Jesus blessing the children. This stained glass window, uh, as we'll see when we move to the Heritage Center and Memorial Library, is now aligned with the rose window, which is directly above that. Let's move into the Heritage Center now. In the Heritage Center, we've restored um, much of the stained glass windows. Um, we've been improving the, the light fixtures and we've been reimagining how this will be a new gathering space. We'll have fellowship time here, coffee hour. We'll have new furniture. We'll have digital displays that our Heritage Committee is working on now. We'll have the new Memorial Library. The, the stacks will be over on this side of the room. And I want to really highlight something that we're excited about, and that is the restoration of the large wood sliding doors over here, which creates the open space between the Miller Center uh, our original sanctuary and the Heritage Center. Um, this will allow us to move back and forth between these two spaces for concerts, music and mask programming, um, receptions and um, adult faith formation presentations and guest lectures. So this space will both be a gathering space but also will open up to whatever programming we have in the Miller Center. Next, we're gonna to move to the new commons, and that's probably, at least for me, one of the most exciting things to show you. Here we're on the second floor. If you know the green room, many church meetings are there in the green room, which is our active construction office. Amanda, Minister of Youth and Families, and Dan, if you're familiar with where we are now in the, in the space, one of the really um, key components of this construction project was the building of the bridge, which connects this level with the choir loft just behind us. Now, if you remember, 
This was the exterior wall of the sanctuary, rhyolite stone, uh, amazing masons who built uh, this sanctuary. But we had to create an opening so that we can have access across this bridge into the choir loft. So here our, our skilled masons have blown a hole through the exterior wall of the sanctuary and they have placed stone back in place with a new door and I've got to say it's beautiful work. Uh, whenever you come back in the space, I hope you come to appreciate the beautiful work that our Masons did. You can hardly tell that that door was never there in the first place. One of the other beautiful pieces of the bridge is our western view across Dahlia, these new glass windows. Of course, this is what we're calling the lantern. It'll still be called Westminster Commons. But with this, this idea of the symbolism of our lantern is to both welcome natural light. At this time of day, we have a lot of natural light in this space. But then in the evenings, we are shining light out into the world. Again, some really beautiful symbolism of, of Montview's both historic presence in Park Hill plus our relevance in a contemporary world. Um, some really beautiful symbolism for our new Westminster Commons. Here facing east, we're facing Eudora Street, and you'll see this grand spacious atrium. Uh, we have skylights coming down from the center of the ceiling. We still have a, a view of the stone uh, exterior of the sanctuary there. New windows and doors with what we're calling Eudora Lane, this idea that we have a European lane with new planters and a heated pavement that has a gentle slope, which is much more safe um, than we had before. We'll have a reception desk here in the Commons. We'll have a welcome center with a digital display and some places for printed material. And this will be our primary um, gathering space on Sunday mornings for information, uh, for our ministries to share what's going on in their ministries. Um, I think this is going to be an amazing um, experience for you when we can finally invite you back into the commons. I was up on the upper level of the bridge, and now I'm on the main level of the Westminster Commons. Here again, we're innovating this space and improving it for gathering and a sense of community before and after worship. Our reception space and our welcome center will be there. We also um, have reconfigured the grand staircase of Westminster Commons. So we've relocated the ADA lift, the Americans with Disability lift, over into the stairwell. And this has opened up a, a, a new spaciousness for entering and exiting the commons. I know that many of you are, are um, growing impatient that it's taken so long to finish this construction project. And I think you're aware that we have a great team that's doing all that we can to push us over the finish line. You know, uh, COVID and uh, supply chain issues uh, and construction delays have made this a challenge. But um, we have a great team and we expect to be back in our space very, very soon. We also want to thank you for your support of this project. It was only through your generosity that any of this is possible, that we can modernize and update our infrastructure and our campus so that we can continue Montview's ministry in Denver and around the world for many years to come. So thanks. <laughs>